This is Tanya. Welcome to Tanya Dina's Max. I would be teaching CBSE class 10 Max and this is my sister Tina Lopez. I teach 8 Max. All right, now let's jump into the video. Today we are going to be learning chapter 6 triangles exercise 6.1 third question. So this is the last question of this particular exercise 6.1. In the next video I'm going to be uploading exercise 6.2. Okay? So, in this also, uh, something is re related to similar, okay. So, first of all, now let's read the question. State whether the following quadrilaterals are similar or not, okay. So, for what are the examples for quadrilaterals? So, quadrilaterals means, for example, we can just call it a uh, parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral. And what else? You can just call a uh, uh, parallelogram square, rectangle, rhombus, everything, everything is a quadrilateral, okay. So, here they had mentioned two quadrilaterals here, okay. So, here we have a quadrilateral and here also we have a quadrilateral. So, here uh, we can just say this is a square, right? because here, uh, what is the clue here, right over here. So, when, how, how can we find a square? Square means which is having four sides. So, this figure, it is having four sides, am I right? And one more trick is, for square, no, all angles are 90 degree. So, here also it's 90 degree and here also it's 90 degree and here also it's 90 degree, here also it's 90 degree. Then no worry, okay. So, then it is a square, okay. So, we can just call this a square, okay. So, no doubt it is a square. What about this figure? So, in this figure, so the question is we are supposed to state whether it is similar or not. We are supposed to compare both the uh, figures. That is this figure as well as this figure. We are supposed to compare both the figures. Okay. So, both the figures when we just compare it here. Okay. So this is a uh, square. What about this figure? This figure is somewhat different. Am I right? So, here the side, you know, it is somewhat slide. I mean, it was it is somewhat in slant ways. Am I right? So, we cannot say it is 90 degree. So, 90 degree means which is having straight uh, line and in vertical as well, in horizontal as well. We should have a straight line. Then we can say it is a 90 degree. So, what is this angle? So, this angle is, of course, I can say it is not a 90 degree. So, I am sure that it is not a, it is not a 90 degree. So, so if it is not a 90 degree, then it is a rhombus. Okay. So, then it is a rhombus. So, this is in rhombus and this is in square. Square means which is having 90 degree. So, here it is not in 90 degree. So, we can just call it as a rhombus. Okay. So, you guys might ask, how did you find it is a rhombus? Why? Because they had mentioned quadrilaterals. Okay. So, they have mentioned quadrilaterals. Since they mentioned it is a quadrilateral, um, we can just, when we just uh, get to know it is a quadrilateral, then parallelogram, rhombus, square, everything is a quadrilateral, am I right? So, in these quadrilaterals, no, which is having, which is not having 90 degree, then it is a rhombus, okay? So, of course, you guys know what are the properties of uh, rhombus. We have studied it in our uh, earlier classes as well, okay? So, it is a rhombus and this one square, yeah, no worries. We know what is a square. It is a common thing. We just studied it from our first standard. That's why it is easy to find square. So, rhombus means which is not having a 90 degree, okay. That is a simple explanation. So, what about the question? So, the question we are supposed to say but it is similar or not, okay. So, that is the question. So, since you guys know what are the figures, this is rhombus and square. Now, let us come back to the question whether we are supposed to state whether it is similar or not. So, similar means we are supposed to uh, see whether they are having same shape, different size and the corresponding angles are equal, corresponding sides are proportional, okay. So, first of all, they had mentioned some values, am I right? So, here it is 1.5 centimeter, here it is 3 centimeter. So, when we just compare all the sides, no, we get 1.5 is to 3. So, you can just solve it, I am lazy to solve, that's why I just wrote in a short, okay. So, you are supposed to take off the point and cancel it, those stuff, and all, you can just do it, okay. So, so 1.5 is to 3 is the ratio of these uh, uh, triangle. I am sorry, these two figures. Okay, that means we can just say that it is a 
it is similar but one more condition so the condition is here we have 90 degree so the corresponding angles are equal okay okay so the corresponding angles are equal but we are supposed to uh, find whether the corresponding angles are equal with the mm, another figure okay so here what is the angle we don't know the angle am I right so uh, rhombus is not having a uh, particular angle but mm, I am sure that it is not 90 degree but it is having some other degree okay so here we don't have any degree here also they didn't mention in the question itself they didn't mention Am I right? In question itself, they mentioned this uh, 90 degree first square, so it was easy for us. But in Rhombus, no, they didn't just mention any uh, values in the edge. So when we just compare both the values, no, anyways, it's going to be different. Why? Because for Rhombus, it is not 90 degree. So you guys might ask, how did you? How can you say it is not a 90 degree? Why? Because it is in slant ways. Am I right? As you guys know. How can we say it is a 90 degree if it is having a straight line both in vertical as well as horizontal. So here both in the vertical and horizontal no, the, uh, the lines are somewhat collapsed. Am I right? Somewhat it is in this shape. Am I right? So here in the uh, vertical side if you see you know, it is somewhat slant and horizontal okay well, though it is straight no the vertical is slant right then it is not a 90 degree. So, since it is not a 90 degree, but here it is 90 degree, am I right? So, the angles are different, am I right? So, here the angle is not 90 degree, so here the angle is 90 degree. So, if the angles are different, then we can just say it is not a similar. It is, it is not similar. Okay, so it is not similar. So you guys may ask why it is not similar, why because uh, it should have same shape. So here shape when you just compare this is a square and this is somewhat a kind of like a square okay. But the line is slant okay. So the line is slant and different size. So here it is having a different size as well. So here this, it is small and here it is big okay. So then it is of course I am sure that it is similar. But when you just come to the next condition that is the, this condition that is corresponding angles are equal. But here when you just check it out the corresponding angles are not equal. Am I right? So here the angles they didn't just mention any angle. Am I right? They didn't even mention any angle. But here uh, square means we all know square means it is 90 degree. Am I right? So square since you guys know it is 90 degree. When you just compare the angle of this figure as well as this figure it is not similar. So why because here the, ang uh, the line is slant. That means it is not 90 degree. So the simple explanation I would like to say in short. So whenever when we just compare both the figures angle no, that figure angle is like somewhat like this slant and this figure uh, angle is straight. It is so firm am I right. So it is uh, straight that is why it is not similar ok. So if both the um, uh, uh, figures are having same angles, same shape, different uh, size no, then we can say it is similar. But here it is not. Why? Because it is having different angles. It is not 90 degree, not 90 degree and here it is 90 degree ok. Since because of the angles no, uh, it is not similar ok. So that is the simple explanation. So whenever uh, you have a question whenever you have a question that to prove it is uh, to say it is similar we are supposed to check with the all the conditions okay. So here um, the shape of the uh, this one uh, figures are somewhat uh, somewhat it is same am I right somewhat it is same why because here it is square and here it is somewhat um, uh, near it is near to the square okay so it is like 50 50 okay it's like that and what about different size so it is different it is having different size so no worries it is having different size and what about corresponding angles Cor corresponding angles are not equal when we just compare this angle with this angle and this angle with this angle it is not equal what about corresponding sides are proportional so corresponding size proportional we just uh, showed that it is proportional why because everything is, everything is having the same size. So it is also proportional am I right it is also proportional but since because uh, this is this condition is not suiting with this one um, I mean this figure 
it is not similar okay so everything is absolutely uh, same uh, same means if the or if all the conditions are perfect with this uh, figures these both figures now we can just say it is similar unfortunately one condition is not uh, suiting this uh, figures okay these two figures so just because of this one condition now it is not similar okay so please just check it out with all the conditions to uh, say whether it is similar or not okay so this was the third question that is the last question of this xa 6.1 in the next video now i'm going to be covering up 6.x a 6.2 okay so for that we are supposed to learn detail about similarity okay so congruent it is really really an interesting topic we just studied in 9th standard so now for now i just solved x a 6.1 completely okay so in the next video i'll catch you with exercise 6.2 thank you guys for watching this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt you can comment me in the comment section catch you in the next video bye